Hi everyone, welcome back to Rachel's Dingle Hopper channel. My name is Rachel and today I've got another Disney video for you today. So us in the UK have been in national lockdown for what seems like forever. So you can still see me in my pyjamas absolutely all day still. But a few days ago I got some really exciting mail from Shop Disney that I uh, purchased on release day so I wanted to make a video about it. Um, it. It was released in the UK on the 22nd of this month I believe and in the US it hasn't been released just yet but I'm not too sure why because it seemed, um, it's supposed to be released exactly in the same month, uh, February because it's a bi-monthly collection for the castle collection so it should have been released in February. I'm not too sure but I'll keep you posted when um, I get some news about that. So this is a bi-monthly collection, as I said before, from Shop Disney UK. Uh, it's got 10 different castles of different princesses and we are already over halfway through. This is number six of 10. It's the Sleeping Beauty Aurora's Castle. Um, in the UK, the puzzle hasn't been released. It seems like it's going to take a few more months to, uh, for that to be released. I don't know why, but um, it seems to be delayed. So uh, I didn't get the big figurine, the light up figurine, but I got the journal this time. I got the small ornament and the pin. Uh, it's like a hinged pin that I always collect. Also, the last collection before Sleeping Beauty two months ago was Rapunzel and for Rapunzel's collection I absolutely love the whole collection and I actually got everything um, from that set so the big figurine, the ornament, the puzzle, the journal and the pin I made a huge long video about it showing you every single thing in, in detail and I was editing it and somehow by magic I managed to delete it all while, um, whilst I was editing it. I don't know how, but I completely ruined my hard drive and that video was gone. So sorry I couldn't do the video about Rapunzel. I worked really hard on it because I got the whole set, but um, I'd, rather than just shooting that video again, I'm, going, I'm just going to uh, shoot this video for you. So the first item is this beautiful Sleeping Beauty Castle mini ornament as always it comes in this beautiful package box uh, we've got the um, image of the castle on the front on the box uh, the disney castle collection logo on the top right hand corner and series six of ten on there my favorite parts of each of these boxes are always the spine so you can see the artwork of the different princesses on the spine usually on um on the box and Aurora is so pretty with the rose um, as in Briar Rose <laughs> and uh, the castle in the background as well hopefully that focuses and um, on the back we've got a little bit of the castle collection I'll zoom in on it so you can pause and read it later on for a close-up uh, this one was £20 in the UK. I think it's normally £22 these ornaments so we weren't too sure why this one in particular was £20 but I don't think anyone is complaining so this month the ornament was £20 not £22 um, and inside it was the main thing it's the castle ornament in there beautifully packaged and I really love the artwork inside the boxes as well. I'm going to take the plastic out as always. And this is such a beautiful castle, look at that. Um, I mean, uh, there were some fans who weren't too happy about the castle kind of being purple at the top, but I'm not, I don't actually mind it. I think it looks really special. Um, the detail, as always, on this ornament is mind boggling. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, like the bricks and everything, the towers, it's all beautiful. The paintwork is beautiful. I am going to do a close up so you can have a look. Um, but overall, it's just such a beautiful piece, collector's piece. And obviously, you've got the little ribbon on there as well, so you can hang it as an ornament. Um, yeah, so I'll show you the close up of it. Okay, so here's a close up. This is the box. You can see the castle collection logo on there. That's the actual image of the castle. Isn't it really beautiful? 
and it says limited release ornament on the bottom already number six i can't believe how fast time has gone and this is a close-up of the beautiful artwork of aurora and the castle behind there as well and this is the back of the box uh let's uh, focus on it a bit yep there you go in english and french so it's a series of 10 bi-monthly releases celebrating the different uh, disney princess castles you can pause it so you can have a read if you need there we go and a little bit um of shop disney kind of info and the barcode as well and inside the box I absolutely love the packaging in there so the castle is nice and safe in this beautiful pink ribbon and inside you can see kind of um, the image of the castle interior as well it's absolutely beautiful right and now onto the castle itself you can see you can see the detail of the bricks the doors, the towers, like I'm absolutely loving all these colours, it's absolutely beautiful, so I, I don't actually mind the purple, I think it looks really special, that's the side of it, you can see the trees on there as well, like I can't believe the detail that goes into these tiny ornaments, and I'm sure the big figurine would be even more detailed and so beautiful as well, lit up. Um, so there we go, that must be where Aurora falls asleep in the tower and this is the back of it as well. Absolutely lovely, I'm really glad it didn't come broken. So that was a close up of the castle ornament. Next I'm going to show you the pin this month absolutely beautiful this pin is absolutely beautiful the colors are so bright vibrant and of course like each month it's gold plated um pin as well and like each month you can open up the pin with this little hinge and you can see the inside of this castle absolutely beautiful um there are sometimes problems with this hinge as well on these pins but um i received a very perfect one so i'm grateful for that um obviously it also has the info about the disney castle collection on the back uh, this pin was um the same as e the pin each month it's 22 pounds got the disney pin trading logo and i'll take it off Okay. Uh, back of the pin looks like this it's got limited release P disney pin trading logo disney logo and um yeah the disney castle logo on there as well it's really pretty and normally i display each of these pins in the castle collection official pin trading um, pin trading frame <laughs> pin frame that came with the castle collection uh, you open it up from the bottom so I'll show you a close up of all the pins I have so far it looks like Aurora's castle goes in the bottom um, right hand corner up there so we've only got four more castles left we've got um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be Agrabah Aladdin's um, castle next Jasmine and then we're going to get the Little Mermaid, then Brave Marriage's Castle, and then finally Beauty and the Beast. So we've already had Cinderella, which started it all off, and then Frozen, Milan, Snow White, and Rapunzel in that order. Next we have Aurora, so let's get this open and show you the pin more close up. Right, so this is the frame that I display all my castle collection pins. This frame was made especially for the castle collection. So this template, plastic template, you can take it off and it did come with this frame. So you know exactly where each of the castle release goes um, every two months. It does come with this starter pin as well that says the castle collection. 
this was the first one that was Cinderella um, I've mentioned in my past videos that it did come broken but I managed to fix it with some super glue but um, it's never going to be fully alive but I have to live with that um, this was the Cinderella one the ballroom uh, next was a Frozen Arendelle's Castle I've done videos for probably each of these except the Rapunzel video that I lost um, that was really pretty and then we had Milan which isn't technically a castle it's the Empress Temple but it was also very very pretty resembling China right there and then uh, next we had the Snow White one which was also really detailed and I love the wishing well um, detail on the pin and there was inside Snow White's one Rapunzel that I lost the video for uh, I can't believe it because it was like an hour long but um, this was my favorite by far so far um, it's so bright and colorful and I absolutely love this castle one of my favorite releases um, and next I'm going to put in Aurora so let's see if I can fit it right does it go around there let's get it in That looks great, doesn't it? So that's what it looks like so far. We've got six out of the ten. It's really exciting. Um, I remember uh, getting the first pin and saying in my video, when are we going to get all this filled up? But it looks like it's not going to be as slow as I imagined. So this is the Aurora Sleep, um, Sleeping Beauties castle. It's the main gate on there as well it's super super detailed i love the colors i don't know why there was so much uh, discussion about the purple um but maybe it looks a little bit different from the films from some fans but i absolutely love this one and inside you can see each of the rooms and uh, this is probably the great hall where Maleficent comes in at the start of the movie and curses Aurora you can see the um, stairs leading up to the castle and you can also see the attic where probably Aurora was trapped and was left sleeping you can see the stairs as well where Philip and the fairies go up so it's super detailed absolutely beautiful I love this release and yeah, I can't wait for the next one. The next one is going to be um, Agrabah. That is going to be a super pretty one, isn't it? I can't wait for that one. That's going to be Jasmine's Castle. And obviously um, Antarctica, Ariel's Castle, uh, which is probably going to be my favorite along with Beauty and the Beast. So I'm going to get the full complete set for Little Mermaid and Beauty and the Beast. But we are waiting for Agrabah and then after the Little Mermaid one we've got Merida um, as well. So yeah, that was the close-up. And next, the final item I'm going to show you in this video is going to be the Castle Collection Journal for Sleeping Beauty, Aurora's Castle. So as always, you've got this little sleeve um, that comes with each journal. And I'm going to take that off so I can show you more closely. And you can see the whole image and you can see uh, how shimmery and glimmery it is on the front. It's a little bit more of a clearer image of the castle that you can see. You can see all the details of the windows, the doors, the gates, uh, all the bricks as well. The spine says Castle Collection Volume 6. I can't believe we're already on number 6 out of the 10. And on the back, we've got the Castle Collection logo on there as well. I believe this was £19. That was £19 and you've got a little bookmark as well with the Castle Collection. Um, I especially love this release because I see it, I seem to say it every single video, I just love pink and um, yeah, you, like the boxes themselves and the packaging is so nice and pink, so that makes me really happy. Um, I was really excited about Rapunzel's um, castle collection as well because it, the boxes and the whole packaging was so nice and pink and so my colour, so uh, I was can't believe I lost that whole video. But I'm going to show you a, um, a close up of the inside as well. You've got like that kind of sleeve with 
uh, the poster that comes with each castle collection journal you open the poster up and you can actually see like a more HD high definition image of the inside of the castle and so this is the actual image that's inside the fr uh, the pin as well you can see it with more detail absolutely beautiful the glass that you can see the hall where Maleficent comes and yeah you can see the different rooms oh you can see the cellar the rooms uh, the stairs got look leading up to the castle you can see the actual bedroom where Aurora was sleeping and it's just a really really beautiful image and I just need to say it's a really cute room uh, with the pink blue and uh, green bed for the fairies for Nathora and Merryweather they've got their little own bedroom in there as well so that's a really cute addition and yeah let's look um, inside the journal as well so that's the poster I think it was a Cinderella and Frozen's um, release that didn't have this kind of sleeve inside so the poster kept falling out but uh, to my recollection it was from Milan's um, release that they have this little kind of slip so it keeps the uh, poster safe inside so it doesn't keep falling out and the best part of these journals are that inside there are random kind of colourful pages where um, there are selected rooms and there are kind of objects on this tracing paper of the different characters and furniture so it looks like an empty room um, like that but you put the tracing paper over and you can see all the characters and the furniture but I'll show you that in a little bit so that's a little bit of a detail that I absolutely love about these journals um, yeah so I'll show you a little bit of a close up right here we go this is the journal you can see how shiny that is absolutely beautiful i usually don't write in this in these journals they're completely for collecting purposes um i absolutely love the kind of pattern inside as well of aurora silhouette and the tiara that's the poster i was talking about um if i can show you again you can see still some of the rooms and it's definitely more like high quality than you can see on the pin like that must be like the dining room now uh, there's like a library stairs staircase and this was the little cute bedroom i saw for the three fairies that is super cute um so that was the poster uh, inside each of the pages have a little pink castle logo on there and the spinning wheel on the top left uh, that's the same for each of these writing pages but there are as I mentioned some pages with these awesome rooms so this must be like the dining room looks like uh, looks like an empty dining room and then you can see if you put the tracing paper over you can see Philip and Aurora's dad <laughs> drinking their um drinking their alcohol there you can see the little drunken <laughs> guard as well it's super cute so this kind of attention to detail is my favorite part of these journals that was the first kind of colourful page. The next page, it looks like one of the bedrooms. It looks like um, an empty room. It's got a massive window in it. And then put the tracing paper over. It's actually the fairies' bedroom. They've got Flora, Fauna and Merryweather's uh, beds. The dresses and the little crib. Is that a crib? Or stool? I'm not too sure little bit of furniture there um, right where's this must be the hall I think I saw a glimpse of the Queen yes you can see that's um, the actual hall from the uh, start of the movie you can see the small little fairies in there and we've got the Queen and King 
startled and <gasps> look how awesome she looks oh maleficent i think this is my favorite page so probably so far she looks absolutely wicked that and that green i absolutely love that and the people behind there as well really shocked so that was from the start of the movie I don't know where Aurora is, she's probably sleeping in there. Little baby sleeping. Uh, the next page. There we go. Oh, I think I know what this scene is. It looks like you can see her. Meriwether really sad. Obviously, it's going to be the attic where Aurora has fallen asleep in her blue dress. And they're looking really sad. Asleep, but still so pretty. So this was Aurora's bedroom. Uh, next one, probably the last kind of colourful page that we have. Uh, it's not an empty room like that. What room is this? Uh, you can see like a family portrait. Just oh, you can see the Maleficent coming through into this room. I love that detail. Yeah, it's such a beautiful journal. Um, was I right in thinking that was the last coloured page? Yes, it is. And that's the end of it. And that's the back. So, yeah, that's what the journal looks like in the inside. I hope that you enjoyed that video and I hope I gave you like a useful kind of close-up look of the castle collection for this month's uh, Sleeping Beauty Castle. Let me know um, in the comments if you managed to get any of these items and if you're looking forward to receiving them. Um, and those of you in the US, good luck with the release. I know the, I think the ornament tends to sell out really quick and I've had um, lots of problems with the Rapunzel release. So good luck to every one of you. Hope you get what you need. Um, yeah, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed that and I'll see you next time in another Disney video. Bye.